Good morning guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Scholes and I'm a runner and today is States. You want to know what else today is? The day that this pimple decided to come in the middle of my face that I am not happy about. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. And this pimple in the middle of my face, I can't stop staring at it. So, yeah, we have way too many bananas, though. So if any of you guys want any bananas, let me know. I will ship them your way. Like, do you see this? Okay, so I just did my shakeout run, and I actually feel really good, so that's super exciting. Um, as you guys know, I was dealing with my low iron. I have been taking iron for about two weeks now, um, and I definitely don't feel as bad as I did two weeks ago, which, thank the goodness, if you watch my regionals vlog, I definitely felt so much better. Um, so if you haven't watched that vlog, you can watch that after this. Uh, that was definitely a super exciting, fun experience, um, but I'm packing smacks, smacks? I'm packing snacks right now. Um, me and my team, literally my whole team is coming. Um, or at least my whole cross country team. Like, I think it's like eight of us or something. We're, they're all coming up and they're gonna come and watch me race, which I am so thankful for them. And I love them so much. Um, but I'm packing snacks right now. We're gonna stay in a hotel overnight. I'm bringing some oatmeal packets for like the morning. And then I'm bringing some bars. I've got some bananas. I'm going to bring some protein powder. I'm going to bring some salmon and tuna. I couldn't continue drinking the beet drink, so I just put some, some regular noon in a thing. And I'll drink some beets later when I actually feel like gagging. So today I will be racing both the mile and the two mile for states and the mile will be at seven o'clock and then the two mile will be at 825. So the races are very, very back to back together, um, but that is also how regionals was, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, we are packed up and ready to go. Got my spikes. So I think it's coming up here. We just got to the meet. Um, there's my mom. She had to give me a pep talk, a long pep talk in the car. And they're about to walk up here and they're gonna start. And your leader, Schultz of Timber Creek, the Pizza of Lehigh, Castillo Rios of Miami Palmetto. Let's go, Amber! Let's go, Amber! They're posting a reel right before they post. Schultz. 
And it's on camera. I guess I'm state. So this is our own states right now. This is like the fastest of the fast. Uh, okay, so basically it's Keelan versus um, Vivian. Ready, set, go! Oh. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, this is just oh, our little yeah, car trip. A little car trip. trip. Yeah. Guys, look at the moon. It's literally so cute right now. <laughs> look at it. It's I mean, so cute. I mean, it's so cute. Mm. Panoramic so shot. I've been deciding if I'm going to do the two mile or not because I'm having really, really bad calf pain. <laughs> I'm having really, really bad calf pain that's been hurting me all week, but I'm going to change out my shoes that are a little bit more supportive and we're going to start it and see how it goes. But I got six mile. I PR'd by like point something seconds. 5.06. Point two one. Point two one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's off. Good start to the race. Oh, tight turn. Tight turn. Bro, her ass. Oh my god, it's so fast. Doing so bad. It's like not going any further. <laughs> Let's go, Amber! Put on Hannah Foley of Boone coming in at center and coming in at left. When she thinks she saw Sam Parsons, I literally swear to you, he was right behind us. All of you what are your thoughts on Amber's races? Insane, so bro. Like it literally. <laughs> Huge. Thoughts on Amber's race? She literally slayed that. Was so good. Thoughts on Amber's race? race? She did so good. It was like an amazing race to watch. So honestly, I I'm in love with Amber after like, that performance. I, honestly I wish that we could all marry her right yeah, now. Yeah, like I would. I would. Amber, we're a big fan. Great job today. Job. You did amazing. Slayed. Yeah. yeah. You guys are like my idols. <laughs> so much. Thank you. You played so hard. Yeah. Yes. I guess. I mean, hey, where's my mom? I don't know. So, tell us about your races. Um, so, okay, first race, I, I, it was not good. I was way too nervous, and I still PR though by like point something seconds. But I like literally killed my calf, and my calf really hurts right now. But I still got. Hey, this is my manager. Um, he's the reason why I'm here today. He's the reason why I medaled twice. So, yeah, we love Joe.
Josiah. That was cute. I had to change my spikes because I was wearing my freshman spikes and they killed my cap. So now I'm wearing these ones and it felt better. But I think my cap is dead right now. So yeah, I got fit. Oh. Okay, so this is uh, Red Hart. You probably know him. He is our manager, Josiah. So yeah. It's Tabi. Yeah. Today. Uh, it went very well, I think. What uh, would you rate it on a scale from like one to ten? Rate it ten for sure. Ten? Let's go. That's better than Reinhardt. He said it was a seven. It was so disappointing. Yeah. What was the worst part of it? Like, where did you like hurt the most? Um, honestly, I didn't really feel like it hurt. I just oh, honestly, okay. the worst part was waiting for it. For the race so to waiting start. for it? No, yeah. literally, it took so long. We were just sitting at the mile start. And I'm like, are we like gonna start? Yeah. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. Um, me and my friends just went and got tea. I didn't get any footage because my camera died last night, unfortunately. So some of the footage is really, really bad on that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some probably food and hang out a little bit. Yo. <laughs> We are going to this place called Daily Greens. Yeah. Oh my god, my shins went. Oh. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I'm currently sitting in my car and it's really hitting me right now that my high school like seasons and career is like over and I was about to start journaling Sorry, I'm like, as you can tell, I'm very like in deep thought. I was about to start journaling and I started writing, but I wanted to talk and I think, I just feel a lot better whenever I talk and especially when I talk to the camera and I talk to you guys, which sounds so weird because you would think the journaling and like stuff like that would help me, but it does. But talking to you guys helps me a lot too. Um, I was going through my journal and I was looking back at the goals that I had for kind of 2020 and like this track season and I am not disappointed in my race at all because I had such a fun season and I had my first track season in two years and there's nothing that I can complain about honestly but it, it has been very hard because I didn't reach the goals that I set out for myself and that I wanted and I'm accepting the fact that I didn't accomplish my goals and understanding how much that I've gone through over the past four years and it, even just over this year. I see I'm like breaking out all over my face right now and that is definitely because I was so stressed out first date and I was really nervous. I was more nervous for this race than I've been in a really long time and it's just I haven't done a lot of big races just because I've been out for so long pretty much because my injury and then my first season back was this year cross country and the biggest race I did was state and then I had pre-state and then this season um, no big meets really until states. So I was really nervous because I haven't... <clears throat> <clears throat> Racing at big meets, like, you're never, like, not going to be nervous, obviously, but... It's being able to work through that and, you know, being used to it that makes it a lot better and a lot easier because I definitely feel like my nerve, like my nerves kind of made it really hard to enjoy a lot of the race or a lot of like before the race. And I feel like it definitely affects me during the race, which usually doesn't happen. I'm usually pretty like good with my nerves and stuff but the last few races in the last few weeks have just been really overwhelming and i'm not saying just me i'm sure that these past few weeks have been overwhelming for a lot of people especially just in track and stuff in general towards the end of the season it gets a lot more i guess like 
intense in a good way and it's super fun but I haven't been used to it and it was definitely a lot like the past few races I never cry before races but I've been crying before races um especially just because I was dealing with my low iron and I wasn't feeling good and it was hard to feel like confident in myself but I feel like I learned a lot from this race and it's really hard to think that it's over <laughs> I'm like actually so sad <laughs> and it's like it's a sadness but it's also like happiness for what's to come but thinking about like leaving my team and the coaches and everything it's just it's really hard because my team I love my team so much and I honestly don't know where I would be without them because even when I am nervous for races or before races or if I'm not happy in my performance they are always so happy and always there for me and reminding me of the things that I always try to remind other people and just to go out there have fun and do your best and take in the moment because you know you are more than your performance you are more than <clears throat> your place or your time and just I know I'm gonna meet a lot of new people and like college and stuff but I just I couldn't be more thankful for the team that I have right now and the connections that I've made through running because I mean it's just insane the amount of people that just like come up to me and I'm sorry I didn't think I was gonna start bawling my eyes out in this <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry, because tears aren't bad, but the amount of people that came up to me and just told me that I inspired them and that I've helped them and, you know, that i am still been able to run even though I've been dealing with a ton of injuries and how that has inspired them and going through my eating disorder and dealing with that and being able to come back and show that you're still strong and, you know, that's, that's my only goal is, like, I just want to show people that no matter what, you can overcome anything, and that, like, life is gonna throw a lot of curveballs at you, but you just have to keep working and keep trusting that, you know, when the time is right, everything's gonna fall into place, and, and my mom has been, you know, reminding me of that a lot, especially when I have moments like this where I look at my goals and I see that I didn't accomplish them, and it's hard, but at the same time, it's not the end. Like, my mom told me before this race, she's like, Amber, this is one page in the whole book of Amber. It's not the end of the world, no matter what happens. And she's 100% right. This is one page in the whole book of life. And I mean, if you're going through something similar or have experienced something similar which I'm pretty sure every single person in the entire world has <laughs> like it's only one page and you can't be who you want to be without not being who you want to be first and not accomplishing what you want and you know hitting your face on the ground and just having to get back up and keep fighting and keep going and keep pushing and going towards your goals because at the end of the day if you keep doing that over and over and over again eventually it is going to be your time and when the time is right that's what it's going to happen for you and I'm saying this not only as a reminder to you but as a reminder to myself the race was great like I'm not saying that the race wasn't good I mean you know, I guess I haven't really talked about the race very much like the race was not bad like I had so much fun and I met so many friends that I've been wanting to meet for a long time and I met so many of you guys I just am not where I wanted to be and I have to be grateful that I'm even out here running to be honest because I haven't raced track in two years and I still dealt with a lot of shit this year that I thought might put me out for state. So the fact that I'm still out here and that I'm running makes me happy. And I'm definitely hitting the postseason thing. I don't know what it's called, but the postseason, whatever. And it's it's hard, but 
I'm excited for what's to come and just know like anybody out there whatever you're going through whatever you're feeling everything's gonna align for you and everything's gonna be okay I know that the, I don't this was all over the place but it was a great weekend and it was one to remember and I didn't get a lot of the filming of like us hanging out and stuff after because my camera died and I just kind of wanted to be in the moment. I love you guys so much. I am going to be on YouTube for a lot longer and I'm going to take you guys along with me throughout my whole college journey and I'm excited to show you guys what's to come and I'm excited to see what's to come. hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed me bawling my eyes out but <laughs> stay positive, stay hype, and live your life on ours high. Love you guys. Peace out. Amber told me I couldn't record. <laughs> I'm not recording yeah. anymore, I swear. Wait, can I go to the other? That's good, Kendall. She's the...